Good afternoon everyone, magandang kapot po sa inyong lahat. Mr. Fernando Pilat Park Dajani and Ms. Giselle Rivera Mondit. That's it. Do you understand that you are here out of your own free will for the purpose of becoming a smart woman? Yes. Tayo ay nagpon ngayong napon ito sa presensya ng mga pangyariang Diyos at ang bawat isa upang kasama si Nanay Nair at Giselle sa banal na kasama. Nandito tayo upang masasiyan ang himala ng pag-ibig ng Diyos at ang kapangyarihan ng banal na Espiritu na pagsamahin ang dalawa sa isa. Please join me in the word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, who is your name? Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we are so thankful, Lord God, for your great love for all of us, especially for Bizel and Maynard, that today marks there forever. This is the moment that we have been praying for, we have waited for, and today is the day. And we are so thankful for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who was so consecrated in the state of matrimony, that it represents the spiritual marriage between you, O Lord Jesus, and your Church. We pray your blessings to be upon Maynard and Lisa, that they may love, honor, and cherish each other. Bless them that they may live together in faithfulness and patience, wisdom, and true godliness. That your home may be a haven of your peace and of your blessings. This is our prayer to you, our Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, in the power of the Holy Spirit. And everyone say, Amen. 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 Good night, and he said, my prayer is that when you commit to each other as husband and wife, you will first and always commit your lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. That means it's a great start to where you're taking this next chapter or this next chapter. Just give him a touch. Tears of joy, you know? <laughs> this wedding ceremony, more important than your marriage, will be based on God's eternal word, the Bible. And God's word is the final authority for your conduct, your values, and your beliefs. Okay? When we look at what God's word says about the man, the woman, and marriage, we will see that God is giving you guidelines or principles. It will ensure joy and happiness in your marriage. So I have a short uh, message for you. It's in Zephaniah 3.17. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exalt over you with loud singing. You're both dancers. TikTokers. Okay, an example. Oh, yeah. example yeah. That's why I can imagine that God is in your midst, dancing, rejoicing with you, without singing. And that God also is slowly dancing with you. So, but it's just my own place, but then it's also my own place, because He quiets you with His love. And being joyful because you chose to honor Him through your relationship. Amen. And I hope you remember these three things about God as you start your life as husband and wife. And dance with God to your friend. Okay? See, then, first, God is with you. Okay? He's not a distant God who is concerned about your lives. God is a God who chose to be close to us and He wants to be involved in everything we do. So, invite God in your marriage. Involve him in every decision that we make, that Jesus be the foundation and center of the family. Thank him every day for every blessing he needs. And of course, the biggest blessing that you have, the biggest blessing you have is you have each other to all 
Second, God is mighty. Okay. He is stronger than any problem you can face. He can help you overcome any obstacle, achieve any goal or plan that you're praying for. You can trust God because He's mighty and He can do miracles for you. You can pray and ask Him for wisdom, for strength, and any challenge. And lastly, God loves you. Okay, so, number one, God is with you. God is with you. God loves you. He loves you unconditionally and perfectly. He rejoices over you and wants you to have a close relationship with Him and with each other. There might be times that you might feel overwhelmed, you know, issues, challenges, or times that magkaroon ng konting alita, disagreements, so ask God to quiet you with this. Ask God for the courage to ask forgiveness from Him and from each other. And ask God for wisdom for reconciliation and resolution. That's why it's important that as you have entered this new chapter of your relationship, to continue to grow in relationship with Jesus. Okay? But well, you verse, and I will end this. The Lord your God is in your midst. A mighty one who will say, He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by His love. He will exalt over you with loud singing. Let's put an example of that. Leonard? Tinatanggap mo ba ang babae nito si Mizel upang maging asawa mo? Mahalin siya, purihin siya, igalang, alagaan, talikuran ang lahat kung bakit namin sa kanya hanggang kayo ay pagreho ng mga mga mga. Sure na sure, di ba? Mizel, tinatanggap mo ba ang lalaki nito si Mizel upang maging asawa mo? Mahalin siya, magpasakop sa kanya, nalikuran ang lahat ng iba, kumapit lang sa kanya, ang lahat kayo ay pareho na bubuhay. Ano yung hindi ko malibo po? Let's give this call all ahead. Yay! Yes. Good and good bless. Genesis 2, the first verse, this explains why a man is his father and mother, and is joined to his wife, and the two are united in the world. We will now witness the exchanging of the vows at the main and top of the song of that time.
face me the other day. His will is being fulfilled. I choose you and I choose you over and over. Without cause, without fault, in my heart, I keep choosing you. I sincerely thank you for all you've done for me from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being such an incredible person and always being there for me. I promise to share everything from my deepest secrets to the most intimate moments of passion with you. I will never give up on you, no matter how many ups and downs we face. I promise to be your faithful partner in life and live in gratitude for you daily. I love you. Sana all! Just as the rainbow is the sign and the constant reminder of the covenant promise that God may be man with no one, these rings are the signs of the covenant you, Edward, and Fizel are entering into today. It will serve as the reminder of the vows, commitments, the promises that you both made to each other. This ring is a sign of you.